Hi, this is Astro Diver. In this video, I want to show you how to do simple astrophotography using a Nikon DSLR camera, and in this case, a Celestron telescope. So these are the, the items that you're going to need, and I'm just going to show you how I put the items together, how I turn on the camera and set it, how I put it into the telescope, and the procedures I use to take images. So first, we're going to need the, the camera. It's a Nikon DSLR 3100. And very important, you're going to need a remote shutter control. Uh, this is not an option. When you normally take a picture with a uh, camera, you have to push the shutter button, but that shakes the camera for the 15, 20 seconds or more that you want an exposure. So you're going to need a, re a remote shutter control. You're also going to need an adapter that goes onto the front of the camera and fits into your focuser on the telescope. This happens to be an inch and a quarter. It's probably the most common. And this particular one also has um, an area you can put in an eyepiece and focus right from the telescope eyepiece. What I usually use is a two inch adapter. And this adapter, as you can see, is just clear through and lets the light directly onto the mirror and onto the CMOS chip of the camera. This is a two inch adapter for the telescope. And also very important, usually when taking pictures with a telescope, most telescopes I find will not focus unless I use a Barlow lens. This is a, a two times magnification Barlow lens and it happens to be a two inch Barlow lens. Uh, you can try this the way just putting this piece on and putting into the eyepiece uh, or the focuser of the telescope. If you find that you can't focus the image in the viewfinder, go ahead and try a, a two time Barlow, either an inch and a quarter or two inches. All right, so how I set the camera up. Well, first, first thing you want to do is you can see most cameras have are, are already set on automatic. So you're going to want to switch that over to manual. All right, this way the remote shutter control will release the shutter for the amount of time you want it. All right, so turn the camera on. And the first thing I do is over on the left on the menu, there's a little wrench. You want to go down to ISO sensitivity settings. And I have it set on 800. I hope you can see that. Um, you can set it, you can set it lower if you want, but normally you need a really long exposure if you're going to be shooting at 100, 200, 400. So I usually start at 800. Um, if you want more light into the camera, but you're also going to get more bad light, as they say, uh, you can go up higher to... 1600, 3200, high one, high two. High two is around 1200 I, or 12,000 ISO, which is allows in a ton of light. Uh, so I usually set an 800 and we'll start there. All right, so once that's all set, you turn the camera off. I'll go ahead and take the protective cover off. And then I'll take my two inch adapter, screw that onto the camera. And usually at this point, I'll take my two times Barlow and which the screw just fell out of. 